you gonna keep me company while I make something? Absolutely. Let's okay, great. All right. So we have sugar, which makes one of the best scrubs because again, your skin is the largest organ, and we want to make sure that that's always clean, mm -hmm. so this way the toxins can be released. The most important thing we want to make sure is that we're not using products with all the chemicals. There's a rule of thumb. If you read the back of a label and there's more than three to five ingredients, you can pronounce. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I think one of the books I have, nope, it's not here, but I have a book on the FDA. Uh, what you know it says about putting existing ingredients on labels. Uh -huh. The other one is I really love this book. It tells you all about ingredients that are in a lot of the products that we use. But anyway, so I have my sugar. Right. In order to make sure that the pH balance is balanced, because it's supposed to be around seven, then I put in citric acid. And citric acid is also what we're using now to make all of the, the bath bombs that I just showed you. Okay. That's one of the largest ingredients. The other thing is there's two ways to go. I like to make scrubs that have the essential oils, but then also too I want to follow it up by a fragrance. And then you have a vegetable oil like sweet almond oil. So what we are going to do really quick is find out, let's see if you like this. Well, how you do this is you go like that, uh -huh. and like that, and you tell me if you like that scent. It's nice. It's, it's nice? nice? Okay. It's scent. All right, good. Now, what I have here is an essential oil called Cypress, and this oil is deodorizing. So I'm just going to put in about 10 drops of that, because after you work out, you're sweating, and this is probably really good for the guys in your class. So we're going to make this one for the guys in the class. So we put in some cypress, so that's going to be deodorizing. Uh -huh. And if we have more time, because I know we have a class soon, we put in a few other ingredients. That fragrance that you picked, yes. which is grapefruit, and you picked a great one, because the scent of grapefruit helps you, it lowers your appetite. And I think even Oprah mentioned it, they use that if you want to lose weight and to stop eating as much, uh -huh. the scent of grapefruit. Oh, we'll do that. See that can definitely help. You mm -hmm. know, the Plus, it has there. vitamin C. So, at this point, we kind of measure by eye. So, I'm going to take some of that. We already put the essential oil in. We already put the citric acid in. So, I'm just going to pour this in. In order to make a scrub, we need something that's oily. The thing about making these products that I like to do is use my hands. If you're selling it, you're not going to use your hands. You're going to use gloves and all of that. Gloves. But the rubber gloves, and you use wood spoons. Why wood? Wood. Something about wood spoons, it's, it's almost like having that cast iron frying pan. It gets seasoned through time, mm. and it becomes your spoon. Okay. It's just much better for products than metal. So we have this. And what I'm going to let you do is pour in a little bit of oil. So I'm going to give you the oil. That's about right. Just pour it all in. Just pour it all in. <coughs> Perfect. See, now you've made products. Okay. And I think what we're going to do is add a little bit more. Another cup of this size up. There you go. Because you don't want it too oily because you don't want to slip in the bathtub. Well, that's, that's a big problem. Hands. Okay. Now this is a hands. nice consistent. Yeah, that we don't want. That defeats the whole purpose of being healthy. Yeah. So just to do a quick test, do I have another plate? I'm going to move all of this onto something else. Okay, quick test. What I'd like you to do is just put a little bit on your hands. I'm going to give you some. Okay? Just rub it all over your hands, front and back. Like this. Okay, could use a little bit more oil, but for guys, I would kind of stay with this consistency. Okay? The big test is this. We had paper towels over here before, but you're a guy, you don't really need them. I'm going to rinse your hands off, and now tell me how they feel, front and back. 
the back side. Can you feel the difference? I do. It, it has like a very like slick feel to it. Yeah. And they feel clean. Yeah. So now you know your skin is clean. And it's kind of good to exfoliate before you exercise because you're getting all the dead skin off uh -huh. and all the toxins. So when the toxins come out, they're really coming out and they're going straight out of your body. Okay. So that's the important thing. Okay, so you know what? You should come back next week because we're going to make a couple of more things. This definitely sounds good. I mean, it definitely sounds something like a lot of these you know, clients can make use of, especially when they're trying to get fit and make sure their skin is definitely toned and, you know, their the elasticity. Just because when you become overweight, I mean, the elasticity of your skin does try to stretch out like a rubber band. And this mm -hmm. can definitely help you retain that, you know, elasticity of your, your skin. Yes, plus it feels good and you smell good, and that's it. Okay, here they come. <laughs> All, right. All right, let me clean up. <laughs>